Welcome to another one of my math riddles. Here we have another fun problem with infinite exponents. Uh, notice how we have an x, and on top of this x we have an exponent of x, and on top of that x we have another exponent of x, and this goes on forever and ever. We have infinite number of exponents. And all of this, this whole equation is equal to two. And my question to you guys is, is there a value of x that equals a finite number. Is this even possible to solve? All right, and before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris Sieber. I'm the creator of all of the videos here at Math Meeting. And my goal for this channel is to help you guys out as much as possible by creating as many math videos as possible. Um, I have videos in calculus, algebra, and I even make fun math riddles like this one. But let's not waste any more time and let's get started right away with this problem. Um, before I show you the solution to this problem, I want to explain the behavior of an infinite exponent. Um, so just to explain the behavior, I just like to plug in values of x. So uh, let's just plug in a value of 0.25 for x. So let's say that x is equal to 0.25. So we're going to plug in a 0.25 for every single value for x. And the only way that you can really um, solve this is by plugging it into a calculator, or the easiest way to solve this would be to plug this into a calculator as many times as possible. And it's going to give you an indication of, of the value. You're not going to get the exact value, but you get an indication of what's happening um, with this value. All right? And if you plug, in this, plug this into a calculator um, enough times, you're going to get a value that's equal to around 0.5. All right, the more values of x you plug in, the closer you're going to get to 0.5. So eventually it, it is going to converge um, to 0.5 and it's going to be exactly equal to this. It's going to be exactly equal to a finite number. Um, so I think that's pretty cool how you can plug in a value for x, which is an infinite exponent, but you get an, a finite number of 0.5. All right, um, let's see what happens um, if we plug in the value of 1 for x. So if you plug in a value of 1 for x, um, this one you can do in your head. You don't even need a calculator. Uh, one to a, Anything with a 1 exponent is equal to 1. So all of this is going to be equal uh, to 1. All right, so once again, we found another number that we can plug in for x that goes on forever, but except it, it's equal to a finite value of 1. All right, uh, but this is not always going to be the case. Um, sometimes... It's, there's not going to be a finite number for every value we plug in for x. Um, so let's say we plug in 4 for x. So for every value for x, we're going to plug in 4. And you don't need to do very many iterations um, if you plug in 4 for x. And you're going to realize really quickly um, that if you do this, that it's not going to converge to a finite number. Um, the more times you plug in 4 for x, you're going to get a really really big number. The number is going to get bigger really quickly. It's going to expand very, very quickly. Um, so this is going to equal a really big number. It's not possible um, to plug in 4 for x and, and find a finite number. The number just keeps on expanding. All right, so my question for you guys, or the question for this riddle, is is it possible to plug in a value for x that is equal to this finite number of 2? Can you solve this equation for x? So take your time and work on this problem, and I will show you the solution in three seconds. All right, so can we solve this equation for x? And the answer to that question is yes, we can solve this equation for x. All right, so let's start right away, and let me show you how we can do this. There's actually a trick we can use um, to solve this equation quite easily. All right, so let's say that this entire infinite exponential is equal to y. So let's set this entire thing equal to y. So if, if, if all of this is equal to 2, that means that y would also be equal to 2. So let's say that y is equal to 2. And if this infinite series of x's is equal to y, then we know that this infinite series of x's must also be equal to y because it's exactly the same thing. Uh, we have an x with a bunch of exponents on top of it of x. So if one is equal to y, the other one must also be equal to y as well. And if y is equal to 2, we know that this circled area that I have for you in red is also must be equal to 2. So I'm going to replace a 2 for, for what I've just circled. 
So once again, so once again, y is going is equal to x with a bunch of x's on top of it, which is which is what we just erased, which was right there. And we know that y is also equal to 2. So I'm going to plug in a 2 for y. And now we have a very simple equation that we can solve really quickly. If we take the square root of both sides, the square root of x squared is just x. So we know that x is equal to the square root of 2. So this is the solution to our infinite number of exponents. And I encourage you to go back and plug this in and check it for yourself. So once again, our solution is x is equal to the square root of 2. And once again, I want to encourage you to, to check this answer for yourself. If you plug in a square root of 2 for x, so every value for x, you plug in a square root of 2, um, the, the more times that you plug in the square root of 2 for x, the closer and closer we're going to get to this value of 2. And if you do that an infinite number of times, it's actually going to converge, and it's going to exactly equal to 2. So do, do that for yourself. Check it on your calculator. Try and plug in the square root of 2 as many times as possible as exponents. And you're going to notice that the more times you do it, it's going to converge and equal uh, or get closer and closer to the value of 2. So I thought this was a pretty cool trick to solve for x. And once again, this does not work for all values for x. Sometimes x does not converge and equals a really big number. So you have to be careful but I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit from it. If you want to keep on trying all of my riddles, uh, check out my next video. Uh, the link is in the screen. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all my new videos. And I will see you in my next one.